All right, so now we're back with another Guild Wars 2. So we're level 51. We're not at the character screen, so we don't have to wait for the loading screen. So we've actually leveled up quite a bit. And then for the rewards, they even uh, give you rare items whenever you level up all the time. Oh, so we can actually choose the boots or the helmet or the gloves. So whichever one, the lowest, I guess. So we have rare gloves. We already had a, we had a rare helmet, but this helmet was better than a rare one, I think. So we could just take the rare boots, then that'd be a good uh, upgrade compared to our boots. So they give you the option to choose. Any arrow points? We haven't really used the arrow points. Well, we can actually equip those boots now and then uh, get rid of these ones. Can we salvage them? Yes, we can. And we also got a rare bow, which we can't use, but we're keeping it for something. So now that our inventory is kind of clear, and this um, sword, it's uh, better than our axes, right? Except it's not better than our axes. Although we're thinking of maybe using it. We just got this rare warhorn, which is probably pretty good. And then this sword here. Though we'll show you the two hand sword, because the two hand sword's terrible. This uh, 438 damage is better than this 554 damage for some reason. So if we leave here, inventory is kind of clear. We got the buff, we got uh, everything refreshed. Now, I think we're in the like uh, level 50 area or something. It was just over here by Lion's Arch. We searched uh, everywhere in Lion's Arch almost. We almost have it all explored. Where was the place that we were going? Right here, 45 to 55, the Blood Tide Coast. So we're 37% of the way done. We're looking on the map. If we teleport over here, we could just start heading west again. So this place seems pretty cool. All the scenery is alright. And then uh, one of the missions was a little bit annoying. He actually told us that we have to command a cannon and then try to shoot three targets on the mountain. It took us a while to figure it out, but we figured it out. See? Now we could uh, play without the loading time, except that we're not uh, recording how long the video is. So we have to put on the timer. So I guess it is a little bit delayed. So now we're all ready to start recording. So we're basically in this place. It's a level, what, 50 or something? What level is it? Let's check here again. 45 to 55. So we're level 51 in this area. We've been here for a while. It doesn't seem too difficult. Although, we actually do need to get new uh, dark steel tools. It's actually the steel tools. They don't work for these resources, so we need the dark steel. Oh, did a guy come out of the bushes? Pirates have much horrible. Point me in the right direction, I'll handle it. Down in the swamp, watch out, they've got cannons. So, I think uh, we just started an event down here with the pirates in the swamp. So I'm not sure, we're just so used to having the Warhorn on the offhand so that we could uh, speed up our running speed. And then we should actually eat one of these foods to replenish our food experience bonus. So we're just gonna go right across this bridge here. I wonder if we have nothing targeted if we rush, well let's just rush forward. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I guess usually you just like rush towards the enemy or something. Use that ability and switch to our axes, then our axes will just destroy the enemy. See, three, four hundred and fifty experience from one enemy in this area, so it's just crazy. And then even the trees are good, right? You just do one tree and it's like over 150. I guess that's not too good. Well, not too good compared to the enemies. So here's another event. So it says, Go on, we got your back, and then we can start the event. <laughs> So we got the waypoint, and if we talk to this guy, he's going to tell us a bit more about this place. So this place has a pretty cool, it looks pretty tropical here. This guy's doing another one, can't afford you. Oh, so there's multiple events that start here. I hope you didn't come for the so maybe we'll just escort this guy. Although it wouldn't be worth it, because then uh, the guys wouldn't have bonus experience. Yeah, I one's killed him for a while. Though, we'll just come help them out, I guess. We just have to come whirlwind everybody. And maybe switch to the sword and see if the tablet sword has anything. Sweet. 
so the uh, resources that we're getting from the trees and everything seem to be higher resources. We're getting like hardwood, and then we're also getting like platinum, platinum ore, and like gold ores. So new different types of things to get. Cool, it's just the abilities out there, like on the axes, right? You switch to the axes and you got like three usable abilities you could use. And then on the 200, all you have is just the stupid uh, one ability or something. One good ability. Jeez, there's just so many, so many of these raptors coming in. Which is good, because uh, I'll get like, experience, right? <laughs> and they give poultry and everything. This is like a really, really good farming spot. Jeez, all for the amount of enemies there. If you're just looking for a loot, for the diminishing returns kick in, which means you can't uh, repeatedly farm the same guys forever, or else they stop dropping items apparently. Towards a quest up here, anyways, and a point of interest, and another you know, scout up here. Looks like we're escorting uh, these guys towards there. Hmm. So that's what is helping escort to the next place then. seems to be a problem right your inventory eventually we'll figure it out we're just uh, throwing so many things so many things in the bank that we don't need to throw into the bank probably so you see the two-handed sword it's pretty terrible even though it's supposed to be strong. oh so we start with this Maybe weapon Jeez, hey? Eh? <laughs> they really start attacking. Pile of radiant dust. So that's something new for us. We've never seen radiant dust, so let's just take off this stupid two-handed sword. The great swords, we don't like them at all. Horn with the one handed uh, oh, 42. Here we go. I would just rather have the war horn for the increased movement speed and then the charge to sometimes uh, remove some of the depots. Like, a treasure chest? What's in? You don't have any cursed pirate artifacts. Find some and place them in this chest. So we need to find cursed pirate artifacts and uh, place them in the chest, apparently. Huh. This seems to be something to do with the map then. Scallops? Oh, scallions. That's right, there was a new uh, food type item to harvest as well. You can also harvest uh, scallions. So I imagine those are going to be for cooking, if we ever take up cooking in the future. So I imagine we want to try to get west to reveal this map, if there is anything. Looks like maybe there is. Haven't been here yet. Yeah, Mozo Grounds, so whatever this place is, and then the scout was just down here. As meticulous keepers of lore, these quaggins are vital to our studies of this region. Each one abducted and murdered by this inquest laboratory 
is more history lost forever. Their numbers have dwindled so near to extinction that they can no longer compete for the bounties of the sea. Our last hope for their survival lies with an expert cultivator of food. He may be able to help the Quaggans acquire a new source of sustenance. Alright, so we never listen to those stories. Well, I guess we did at one point. As meticulous I guess we don't need to listen to them again. So the pyro is waiting for us. And then is this not there? No. So what do we have to do? Protect the camp. Oh, if we protect the camp, it'll count towards the quest, probably. Vent <laughs> failed. Hmm. So we're actually just about done, right? We just need to defeat a few more enemies here, or do something. Bring them some items, maybe? Oh, treasure chest, we found something. So, Curse of Powered Artifacts. That was part of the event that's going on right now, I guess. That makes sense. So, here's my thanks for helping us. And actually, since we're in a higher leveled area, maybe he'll have something for us. Level 46. Maybe not. You search for knowledge? Well, that would be good for selling junk all the time. So we just have some weapons and then an offhand 31 condition damage. 19 vitality. Goodbye. Don't think we need anything. So it's just uh, defeating more pirates in the area. So we have some gold ore down here. Just might as well get it. Might as well go mine it. So eventually, once we're level 80, and then experience won't really matter to us, we're just still going to be basically doing the same thing, right? That's why experience doesn't really mean too much in these games. It's usually, experience is just a way to find your way to the end of the game. Which is never the end of the game. Bag of feed. So I have to bring a bag of feed to you or something? What do we bring them to this? I could outrun a centaur. What do you do with the feed? Stomp on crab holes, catch young crabs, and bring them to help defend the ranch from scale. So I think you'd want to just defeat the scale. Scale would be the best thing to do. They're running so far, they were right beside each other in a big group, and then they're like, no, everybody scatter. Which isn't good. So there's a new uh, Crankman Greatsword, level 51. Strong Spear Gun, level 48. So they are dropping good items for us. If they do drop equipment, it would be equipment for our level. Pretty much most of the time. Because I guess we noticed when we were farming that, uh, when we were entering that level 1 to 5 area. Essentially, I think we could find low level gear and high level gear. It seems to have a chance to give you low level gear. I think you're supposed to stomp that thing. Defend succeeded, defend until he recovers the hidden treasure. So, somebody finish that event for us. Crab a hole. Then does a crab come out? Oh, then we catch the crab. Gain the crab's armor. Oh, drop the crab. <laughs> so what are we supposed to do with them? Stop and catch on crabs and bring them to Bram. Our Grinth. Oh, okay. So those are domestic crabs. So I guess that's all we do. What is the bag of feed for? So is it just for increasing our movement speed? Yeah, so I guess reviving these guys counts. Wild young crab. 
Okay, so we can just go catch this one right here then. And just go give it to him. Um, talk to you. What happened to the crab? Where are the scale? Oh, there's tons of scales over here. So hopefully, we should be able to finish everything on those scales. These guys aren't in range of the quest. Here we go, now they are in range of the quest. If you don't defeat the enemies when they're in range of the quest, they're not gonna account for progress because so they weren't defeated in the proper area. We already know that. Runaway crab. Oh, and then he's chasing the runaway crab. <laughs> Very tired. Runaway crab. Could try to catch that one. What else is he going to learn? So, oh, he's sitting there and talking to him. He says, uh, he's probably been watching him for years trying to catch that crab, and he's probably still, still never ever caught it. <laughs> Once we're done here, once we defeat like hopefully one or two more escape, oh, we get to move on. Alright. That was a level 46 quest. So we should probably try to get things from the higher leveled quests. I mean the items they'll be higher leveled. And we have a uh, way too much iron ore as it is. Though I guess you could never have too much iron ore. waypoints down below. Hmm. This waypoint reads right here by the jellyfish. It doesn't look like a friendly swamp, so destroy Pythion generators to free Quagian prisoners. There's an event going on right now. Although all we're doing is exploring. So undiscover point of interest. Humpback whale. So we can't do anything. He's not going to try to eat us. The thing is down here. Oh. The tide coast. Oh, cool. And they probably. Oh, people swim in here. So that's probably their little outpost. So now we're gonna go. Everything's done over. Oh, their point of interest. We didn't get one to the south over here. You can't forget that one cool in this game because you uh, don't have to worry about drowning at all. Once we get this point of interest, we can just go west. Oh, generators destroyed. Somebody else is uh, destroying the generators. Question generator. So I guess we might as well help them. <laughs> and we have to get the point of interest here anyways. don't have to die instantly all the time. So we're scaled down to level 48. Uh, point of interest. Okay. And then the minerals. What are we mining? Rich platinum vein. Perfect. So 
level 225 scales because it shows you what scales the crafting material is for. Shows you all of that. Sweet scorpion. Well, let's uh, continue, continue to feed these things with those people then. Jesus, there's gonna be like three enemies here. Oh, someone up here. Golem answer. Oh, I should be hitting him. We do need health here. So, there's got more health again. Are we even hitting him? Yes, we are. Oh, there was two of them. Oh, I guess we take all. Deposit compact. <laughs> That's what we always have to do. So, now that the defenses are gone, now we can actually take out the thing. Just pull him towards us and then he'll be in the attack of everything, right? That makes sense. So the quest has been completed, everything is done. Now, what else does it do? Destroy containment cells, tinker with power, supply equipment, and dispatch the inquest. So we must have been uh, dispatching the inquest down here. Oh, and there's actually a scout over here. So we can't forget to talk to him. Maybe we can, yeah, I think we talked to him a little bit. Maybe we did. And as he was telling us to do something, I think we did part of it. Oh, back at the base. <laughs> oh, I don't know if there's a reason to go back up there again. Well, there is, because we have to finish the quest. <laughs> We've already been in this direction at one point. I could outrun a centaur. There's boulders, things to collect on the ground. There's a place to sell everything at. So if we're here, we say maybe you could buy all of our junk. Goodbye. So how do we even get up there? We have to go in this direction. I could outrun a centaur. So I maybe mean, we might as well, it is taking a while to get there. Maybe we can destroy this thing on the way. Blue Amoa Bird. Holy three, four, four hundred 450 experience or something? Just from one bird. Wow. Huh? There's so much experience later in the game. Then I guess you need a lot of experience to level. Jeez, how did we, uh, how did we fly so high? toward the quest, is it? Where, where are we supposed to destroy the guys? Well, we did the event anyways, and we got a new helmet. I think we did. Oh. Well, a hero point has been earned. So what are we supposed to do for this guy? Oh, 
don't level up. See how quickly those birds level you up? Combinations, level 52. All right, good, we landed in the water so we didn't uh, get killed. So what are we supposed to do, just deal with them over here? We don't uh, see anything. No idea. Because we don't see any inquest anywhere. Destroy containment cells, inquest. Oh, maybe these things? Inquest gold matcher, they were under the water. Okay, so the quest says uh, just just on outside in the water, there's evil guys underwater. Destroy them. So it says. Talk to the guys and said their Quiggins feel so icky. Please help them. Don't worry, we will get you out of here. So you can even talk to the guys inside the containment field. Like help us, Nick. We will help you. Then he's broken free, so now he gets to swim away. Oh, so if you just swim to the bottom, you could just uh, destroy all the containment cells. Then I guess you don't have to deal with uh, experience and loot and everything, which is all right. I always get so much loot and experience from doing everything. So, now we could probably just head west. My things are still three minutes. Perfect, four minutes. So we play a little bit. So he's gonna say, thank you for helping us. Here's some more things. And then, maybe we'll just go get a waypoint. The videos, we're not sure how long. It's like 20, 26 minutes. So it looks like we're just swimming into absolutely nothing at the moment. I wonder if it is absolutely nothing. Oh, maybe that's actually the border of the place. So you can't actually swim there. You've hit a strong current. Oh, what does it say? We will push back if you continue further. So exactly the same as the tutorial place. If you go too far into the ocean, you're gonna get pushed back to where you last entered the area. Imagine that's what they're saying. So at what percent are we? 50%. Already explored down here. Oh, we haven't been down here yet, though. Aranor. So we'll get the point of interest, which is down down below. Probably right around here. No? Oh, down below. So there must be a entrance down here. I don't think we've seen an entrance yet, right? <clears throat> no, there hasn't been any. Oh, it was down below. Here we go. This guy was guarding. Quiggin help you? What is this place? Then you can ask him. Uh, most sacred place for Quiggins. What makes it so sacred? Quiggins keep Quiggins most precious treasures. Oh, you will see. So, they store all of the treasures here. How can Kraken help you? What is this place? Glow orbs, the eggs. These eggs are many local Kwaitings. Oh, so they just uh, have the, all of their eggs here and then they all hatch. Maybe. See all the babies. Hmm. 
This is their most important treasures are their babies, I guess. So that's pretty much it then. Another point of interest down to the south. Maybe an island down to the south. And then we'll just have to keep leveling up, right? We're going to come back once we get to level 60, probably. And then we'll do another video. But for now, this is all you have to do to level up in the game. Pretty much just go absolutely wherever you want. And then just go get all the points. And then just kill absolutely everything along the way. Hoping that will give you bonus experience. And if it does, then you're really good. And then just use the two axe weapons. Just 13 seconds. So I think we're pretty much just going to do this recording however long the experience boost was. We weren't going to make a huge long one hour episode. But essentially, if we send MOAs or pretty much any enemy on the way to where we're going, we can just uh, kill them for the experience. Deposit compact. Maybe we'll have to clear the inventory. We can see if we got any new gear. Shoulder pads? No. Spear gun? No. Sword, we don't use two handed swords. And the helmet. Helmet's a little bit better. Our horns, probably not better than ours. So we could just salvage everything. This is pretty much what you do to clear the inventory, too, right? To have all these items just to salvage them, to turn them into other resources. So I think we just keep the rare sword for some reason. Oh, because we can't dismantle it. Open the bag, it's just essences of luck. Open these other bags, that'll clear some more space. So, what are these things? Two torn hides, we can't dismantle those. Yes, we can. I thought we should be able to. And then, actually, uh, there's no vendor here. It's usually you talk to the vendor and then sell all of your junk to him. So, there we go. Now we can continue on the journey on to level 60, so the game's pretty easy, it seems alright. They give you all the items that you need as you level up, and then 54%. So we're not uh, fully clearing every place, we're just mostly clearing every place. And then we're just going to teleport back to Destiny's Edge to try to find another banner, right? Try to find where Destiny's Edge is, and then go to where the New Year's event is happening. Because that seems to have the highest chance for banners, actually. And then Lion's Ark. I think Lion's Ark is supposed to be the main town that everybody goes to, right? So we're going to have to learn how to use Lion's Ark at some point. We already explored pretty much most of Lion's Ark. Then back at Divinity's Reach, I think we had to do the Firecrackers race before the daily challenges end. And then also Lion's Ark, whatever the jumping puzzle was, right? Daily, we can do these. We still have four hours. It says daily wide sheds revenge jumping puzzle at the lion's ark so we explored most of lion's ark we didn't find the puzzle right so essentially we come here we'd hope that there's a banner if there isn't a banner then uh we get sad because we don't get the experience we don't get the moving speed boost and the harvesting boost and everything there's no banners here so we'll just end the video then Essentially that's what we do, we just come here, look for the banner, try to get it, and then go where we're going to level up, level there for half an hour, and then you get a whole bunch of experience, and then come back, and then continue doing that, until you're level 60, or level 80, 